She has to join last time. Oh. Hi, guys. You guys, I don't know if you guys heard that. That was very exciting. That was a very exciting way to start my morning. <laughs> that was truly like the aliens had descended or like we like um actually funny enough i do my all my friends and i this is a fun fact that nobody's gonna care about except for me um my friends and i all have nicknames for our houses and our apartments that we live in and mine is called the void or the vortex so that was very on brand hey there we go oh my god you fixed it how'd you fix it i can't tell you it was magic magic fingers no, if I told you, it's like, I'm... it's really stupid. I had my Bluetooth on. <laughs> my uh, Bluetooth was right next to me. Um, listen, I'm not For some reason, to... I'm like, I'm not surprised by this at all. You were probably blasting dubstep on the Bluetooth speaker. So, I was. Yeah. My little bass monster. My bass monster <laughs> alien friend that I had on set with us. You just, you just bring that everywhere, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. I was in a session two days ago and I like pulled it out of my bag and I always forget every time I pull it out of my bag people are like you take your speakers everywhere I'm like yeah I, I literally bring my speakers in the elevator down to my car switch the bluetooth in my car and then the second I step out of my car I'm I'm back on my speakers this is not an advertisement but this this is the best speaker that you can chuck in your bag Honestly, and bring everywhere you've sold me I'm actually probably gonna copy you and get the same one because I need one because I have one here but it's pretty mediocre and um I feel like you swear by yours so it's time that I like hop on it so I mean it fucking hits do you remember in the trailer <laughs> yeah oh I remember I remember that was, what was that I? was amazing and literally I will every time I hear that song automatically I will think of you forever like forever that song is just like I just picture you just like going the fuck off and okay. loving the vocal sample in that. <laughs> so good. Which one? The Hero Bust one or the Bring Me the Horizon song? Um, oh my God. I mean, all no, those ones too, but I think it was the one with the. It's, I think, wait, hold on. I think it was the, called like Calypso or something. That thing? Yes! Yeah, yes! that one. Yeah, yeah, that one yeah. That was so crazy. That one goes crazy. That vocal sample. Yeah, exactly. That's it's just our the song, way you dude. did the. That's our That's song. That's lit- a hundred, one hundred percent. Some people have Taylor Swift songs as their song. Uh, <laughs> we have Calypso, by I think it's Hero Bust, right? Am I being crazy? No, it's it's an excision song. Hold on one second. Oh guys, shit! You guys, this. everybody. Has- <laughs> this song goes crazy. It hurts my feelings. It's so good. You're so right. Everybody, like, people have, like, you know, like, soft, cute little songs. But, yes, absolutely, that is our song, like, end of story. And, um, yeah, when I'll have to propose, play that anytime. Yeah, when you eventually propose, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> I want to be going down, like, mm, what's, like, the equivalent of, like, <laughs> dude, like, you know, like, you know, people, like, get married at Disneyland. What's, like, our equivalent for that? We'll be walking down... <laughs> We have to be somewhere like super scary, like unromantic, and then super. I just hear, and then I just want to hear Calypso through the speakers, and I'll know. <laughs> I'll be like, Rez, <laughs> you didn't. That's the <laughs> exactly. You I shouldn't have anything. <laughs> that makes me laugh. That's so funny. Holy shit! Literally, that's the cue. There's no like knee drop. There's no ring. It's just that song comes on and you're like oh my god wow like that's what? so i can't it's happening she's got me i can't believe it's finally happening you guys and everybody's like fucking get the shit off and we're like so pure so horrible we are, are i can't even Holy believe shit. i always wonder like people who don't listen to that kind of music <laughs> and they must like we must be the worst like I, I whenever i'm like going down the street listening to that kind of music like do people just like curl up and die because if you don't resonate with it it's got to be the most disruptive awful like you know what I mean yeah yeah I feel like I feel like that's definitely the case and that's entirely fine it's definitely pretty niche but like (laughs) it's crazy that when you go to these festivals and you see how big the crowds are you're like wait I belong here you know what I mean like you are you are going to like reach peaks that's why I'm so excited like, for that day to come you know what I mean when I stow away in your little every time I say the word stow away 
I picture being like in an actual like like box that somebody and then I just like pop out and I'm like surprise. <laughs> I've been in a yeah, I've been in child pose for four days. Now I'm on your tour bus. Um I actually can't wait. I can't wait. I need I but I only want to go to festivals like with you and my other musician friends. I don't think I'd survive as like an audience member. I think I'd like I feel you. It'd probably be a little bit too maybe crazy, but yeah, I mean you'll definitely join and I'm I'm really thinking if you're free then definitely come to uh, the San Bernardino one, like the hard summer. Like, I think that one will be awesome because it's like, I got the closing slot too. So it's like <laughs> playing our that moment. I think like, it's going to be like peak, just like chaos, you know? Stop, I'm too excited. Stop. But yeah. <gasps> Why can't we fast forward? Feels like, I know, right? I feel so relieved that shows and festivals are finally back, but at the same time, they feel so far away. I'm, like, just ready to get it pop in, like, right now. Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty satisfied just because I just did, I just did two of them, and so I feel, like, replenished in a way, but... How like, was yeah, that? Just, I, it was, it was, like, honestly insane, especially the first one back, because it was, like, just like I sent you the video and it's just like there's so many people like to go from like nothing for like a year other than like you know little like drive-in shows and stuff but to go from nothing to that was just like like astronomical you know what I mean I was like this is so fucked up it was it was it was crazy (laughs) that's so fucked up well wait how many people were in the audience because it looked mental like it was like a sea of cereal wasn't even people it was literally like a sardine can and I feel like there was like I feel like it was like uh oh my god I don't know it was like probably like 30,000 maybe like something like that like that's my guess like I might be wrong but like it was definitely something like that for sure like it just went so far back like it was it was definitely awesome but how have you been like since the shoot what have you been up to (laughs) since the shoot every day since the shoot has just not quite measured up you know um (laughs) I've been good what have I been doing I've been writing loads um I'm like in LA for the summer for the first time ever so I'm all my friends are here and I'm like I'm probably just gonna bop around and go from LA to New York and write and work on music I'm working on like I have like three sessions a week right now which is really fun I'm really enjoying like I feel like all of a sudden like all of my friends are also in like a creative music space I feel like the world is like opening back up in this way where everybody's like really inspired really wanting to get in the room with each other now that everybody's vaccinated you know it just feels like a really creative time and like a very like connective time and so in that way I feel like the music I'm making right now is so much better than anything that I've ever tried to make before you know that is so awesome I also saw that in one of your posts that uh, you were in the studio with Phineas which is so awesome I was just like nice (laughs) you're just crushed nice yeah oh my god I love Phineas he's uh he's such a wonderful guy like he's such a good good person he's um he's one of those people that like I feel like he's got such a (laughs) like a like an air about him where he's like he's for some reason I always laugh because he like um he presents us like very mysterious I feel like if you don't like know him but then he's such a sweet like wonderful just down to earth like normal person and I really just enjoy spending time with him which just makes it so much sweeter that he is such a genius because you're like oh right all the best people are at the top you know it always it always ends up being that way like it's it's very rarely ever that someone who's like at the top of their game is like a total asshole like that's I feel like that's such like a inaccurate stereotype you know yeah understandably so yeah I, I definitely I can definitely see how that is for sure. But I yeah, mean, like I mean, you, like you, like I had no idea who you were going to be when I met you. And then you're like the most lovely, down to earth, sweet, kind, normal person ever. So are you though? Like literally, so are you. That's I feel true. Like we were just, <laughs> okay. I feel like we were just literally laughing about everything. Like, it, yeah, it was definitely that, that night was so fun. I was like, wow. Like, Peak, I'm so excited. Peak life experience. And did oh, definitely, definitely peak <laughs> life experience. And um, one of the questions that we got asked that we that we have to answer is, and that like all your fans are like always asking is, "Where's the music video?" And I don't know if you know 
but my managers told me today that the music video is coming out next Tuesday. I just heard that as well, like 20 minutes ago. So, so thank you. So, yeah. You're so good at releasing dates. I'm always like, can I say that? Like, I, I feel like you're always the one being like, it's coming out on fucking Friday. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, because, yeah, I always want to make sure because I knew we were going to do this live. So I'm like, we got to definitely say something about like when it's happening because like, yeah, people are always asking and stuff. But um, oh, my God, like, I'm so excited for that. And just like all like the TikTok trends and shit that could like, I'm like still so new to TikTok. But like, my manager's always like, you have to like get on in like all this shit. And like, now I'm seeing how like <laughs> this video now I'm like this video could like become like a trend like in a way and I'm just like oh my god like let's go you know <laughs> you're so funny I know exactly the part you're talking about um yeah definitely everybody keep an eye out for Tuesday uh definitely everybody's gonna want to see it it's wild I love how it turned out yeah me too I I love it too there's still obviously they're still doing like the uh the coloring and whatever but like even without that I'm just like holy shit like I just like I love how it looks it goes fucking crazy also that was like, like one yeah. of your first times being in your own music video how was that yeah I mean yeah like that was well that was one of the first times I've had to yeah like kind of like be like more of an actress I suppose in the music video in any capacity you know and um yeah it was super awesome and Definitely, I was super intimidated at one point, which was when you first, like, after you finished getting ready and, like, all, like, all your, like, you know, just, you were all put together and just had to go <laughs> do the live, like, performance scenes. I was just like, is this a joke? No. Like, is, is she, I was like, is this, like, an, is she, like, an actress or something? Like, and then, and, like, it showed, like, it, like, to me, it, like, um, it really showed that, like, you really were, like, a master at your work, and, um, Thank you, oh my god, like, yes. the way that, like, the, the lighting and everything, and, like, your makeup and the hair and everything was, like, on you in that moment was just, like, ah, yes, like, no wonder, like, she is where she is, and then it made me super intimidated because <laughs> I was just, like, because cause I was like, I'm, I'm not a, um, like, obviously, like, an actress or anything like that. And so I have to, like, now be in this video with this person. And so it, it was intimidating. But then you, like, you alongside, like, the crew made me feel, like, super comfortable. And, yeah, I appreciate that. And it ended up being, like, a really, really, like, fun night. Even though, like, it lasted, like, so much longer than anticipated. Like, still super <laughs> Oh my god, that makes me so happy. It's so funny because like I I was so like um nervous to meet you because I've been such a fan of you for so long, you know, that like when I walked on <laughs> the dirt road <laughs> and you came out of the abandoned diner, I was like, "Oh my god, there she is." And then you were so like, I don't know, I just think I mean, it's the same thing, right? Like I feel like a lot of um really incredible musical talents like in the same way that I'm always on camera you're never on camera so like what do I have to draw upon as a fan except for obviously like um you know everything that that I know about you from the outside and like your performances and you have such a an energy and a charisma and like a presence to you that I was like oh god what if she's really scary you know like what if she's really like, what if she's, um, what if she's like, cause I'm, I'm also, like you said, I'm like overtly social. I'm overtly, like, I, I'm always trying to be, you know, I love people so much. And so, um, I was like, what if, what if she like, doesn't like that? Like, what if, what if I scare her away? What if, you know, all these things. And then I just feel like we became like best friends, like immediately we had like the most fun time from fucking yeah, sundown to sun up in the middle of nowhere in this like weird house of wax town. <laughs> What a fucking experience. I know. What an, ex <laughs> what an experience. Like, ne yeah. we'll, never, we'll never have that again. That was, like, such a singular nearly 24 hours. Jesus. And the bat, too. The oh, bat yo, yeah. We can't have this live without giving time to the bat. This was a big major part of this day. And nobody, nobody's ever going to know the trauma that we experienced. <laughs> That was fucking wild, dude. I've never in my life been more like, 
what are we going to do? Like, I had no solution for that. I had no creative solutions, no ideas. And even the person that was supposed to know, I was like, sir, sir, there's no way you're going to single-handedly catch a bat with a fucking claw. Like, what was that? It was like a children's toy. Okay, I okay. honestly, uh, that was that was funny that was so funny everybody just like dipped from that room so fast You're like i'm not going back in there <laughs> yo because here's the thing sneaky creepy creatures i'm down like a snake whatever tarantula i'll hold that shit a bat a bat <laughs> is too fast like a bat i can't keep my fucking eyes on that you know what i mean like it could be over here one second and then it's on my it's on it's like in my shirt the next that's the image i can oh. have it can you imagine the bat one in your shirt? Can oh you ma- my! God. Bats are not fucking afraid of people. Bats don't care. Do you know? Like this was this was high trauma. But then it kind of like that- set the tone for the rest of the shoot. <laughs> it was kind of like, all right, well, now that we fucking fought a whole bat, <laughs> exactly. What more could go wrong? Oh. I'm just uh, looking at some of these other questions oh by the way to anybody uh, who's just watching me and me and Raz have a conversation we were in like an open barn in hair and makeup and there was no electricity um <laughs> there, was, there was no electricity for like seven hours or something and the sun was going down and when the sun goes down and you're in the mountains uh bats come out and a bat flew in through this big open door and like was flying around this like but it was like a such a small room like I say barn like it was like this big fucking but it was so small and the whole space was occupied by like hair makeup clothing and like we had set up camp there and there was all of a sudden like a loose bat in a pandemic and like my 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 stylist was pregnant and I was like we all need to get the fuck out of this room like nobody is getting bitten by a bat for a music video um it would have been exciting (laughs) It would have been exciting. Um, but anyway, the bat was the real star and we got it all on video. Oh, yeah. True. It was very fun. I actually have to say that that was kind of the beginning of the day for me. I was like, you know what? This is the life I want. <laughs> um, so one of the questions, first of all, someone okay, so someone was like, how did you two meet? And we actually met at that video shoot, um, which was quite pleasant and... Um, Yes, we enjoyed it. I thought it went perfectly. <laughs> 10 out of 10 review. <laughs> the music video was quite pleasant and it was a mutually uh, joyful experience for both of us, we would say. Yeah, what a weird thing to like work on a song and then meet each other like that day. But yeah, that was how we met. We had a, f- we had a phone conversation before that, but that was it. Oh yeah, true, true, true. We, we definitely did. Um, someone said, what made you get into music? So what is that for you? Hmm. Uh, I always just felt like music was a language that I spoke. Like, I don't remember a time when I wasn't like, music is my world. Like, I was, I was like, even when I was like on trips, I traveled a lot as a kid. And my number one thing that I always had, you'll know, because I think we're like the same age, but like the little round, um, like Walkman. And then like, oh, yeah, yeah. The Holy little like foam shit. headphones. You know what I'm saying? Like the little like pop like CD. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I knew all the words to, <laughs> this is crazy. I was, I remember vividly sitting in India, um, on like a lawn chair with my sunglasses on, ignoring the world around me and like feverishly memorizing every single lyric to baby got back like over and over and over again, eating like a grilled cheese and a Fanta being like, she could do side bends or sit-ups, but please don't listen. <laughs> I just like loved anything that would get me like hype. Right. Like I loved Amazing. like, I loved that. I loved like Eminem. I loved, and then when Skrillex hit, that was big for me. Anything that like matched the pace, that's my cat. Anything that matched the pace of like my soul was something that helped me translate the world around me better than like other people. Music was my best friend. So I just knew I, I knew I needed to be a part of that. What about you? Well, first of all, that's really awesome. And also I just want to make note that your music selection is impeccable and when you were playing music on your little portable speaker i was like nice i love all of this like i want to know the name of every single song you were playing i was just like yeah it's just like really good but um 
for me, I was like always like growing up, like I grew up listening to like punk bands and stuff. Like we talked about that. Like I love like Bring Me the Horizon, Green Day, all these like bands growing up. My uh, My Chemical Romance. Oh my god! Um, yes, me too. Yeah, bunch of stuff like that. I always listened to bands, and then there was like this like changing moment where I was like getting introduced to dance music. Uh, and like I, I heard it for the first time on like a U- like I stumbled upon it myself on like a YouTube like link of uh, I think it was like Tiesto or Afrojack. It, they were like playing at some like festival, and I was yes, like, whoa! Like course. what? Is and I didn't think I wanted to like I didn't think I wanted to like uh, make the music, but I wanted to be there. I was like, I want to go there. And then like as time went on, like years went by, I started DJing. Like I just like met some people that were also DJs. I started DJing at like a really young age, at like fifteen. DJed my high school dance, um, oh. DJ Halloween high school dance and stuff. Yeah, it's like really crazy. And then started DJing like random underground raves at like 16, 17. Um, saw some really, really dark things. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I started like making music at 18 because I was like, I want to like make my own kind of world. And then um, I got inspired by like Dead Mouse, Skrillex, um, just like a bunch of people, like, but those are like the like Dead Mouse is definitely the main person I got inspired by, and then yeah, I started making music, and and then here I am, I suppose. Now it's just kind of it's just going still. You That's know? so fucking badass, and I wonder in like a couple of years or even now who the person is going to be on their fucking live, being like, oh yeah, and then I heard Res, and like that was it changed my world. You know what a cool full circle thing. Do you that know? would be. Yeah, that'd be, that would be amazing. That would definitely be a full circle. Just, yeah, that, that's, that would be perfect. I mean, I'm sure it happens. It's like, it's amazing when your heroes become your peers, right? Like you list those people and I'm like, comma, res, you know, it's like, you're, 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 but right. It's like, that's, that's so amazing. Like also the fact that you were DJing like underground raves when you were 16, I think we're like I think we're like one one year apart or something, but it, um, if you were ever in Seattle, <laughs> you might have run into me <laughs> because I was fourteen at these underground raves. Like, sorry guys, everybody's just getting to know the real me in twenty twenty one. But I, <laughs> but it's so funny because people are like, "When did you turn bad?" And I was like, "I was always bad." Um, <laughs> I was like fourteen <laughs> at these like raves in um so okay, so this is fun. I'm literally everybody's just gonna get to know everything. I was uh so <clears throat> she came out. Let's now go. She's, now she's up on the fucking pedestal. She's like, Let me tell you my truth. Um, so I there were I don't know if you've ever been to Seattle, but there are there are these like big I open, have. weird I, they don't have them anymore now, they're like storefronts, which kind of blows, but there were these big open, weird, like warehouses that looked like they should be parking garages but they would have like semi like um concrete exteriors so that they were like kind of indoor outdoor like rooms but they were abandoned and so I think it was like every first Thursday of the month they would have these things that they would call art walks which were basically (laughs) so that they could like legally rent out spaces and like throw up some art and then it would be like these like visual raves where you have like a structure and then you project like visuals onto it and then everybody would go and be like absolutely not uh not doing anything that uh you know we would ever want to capture these days on social media like this was definitely like thank god there were no no phones happening at the time um but uh I was like 14 sneaking out of my like my mom's apartment on an island and going into the city with my other 14 year old friend and like going to these raves and being like we know the guy and like what? Like that is so awful, scary. But maybe, maybe you were there, and maybe, maybe that's how we first met. Maybe we should just start telling people that we met. Yeah, we we should, <laughs> we should definitely start telling people that. Except, unfortunately, I was like only in Canada at that time. I didn't even enter the U.S. for the first time until I was like eighteen, which is when I went to like L.A. to go to this this festival. Do you know the festival called Hard Day of the Dead yes. in L.A.? Yeah, yeah. I went there. That was um. My first time in the U.S., but aside from that, it was just like all all in Canada. But yes, we will still tell people that that's where we met. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the people that are watching right now, guys, just like sh- like just keep that going. <laughs> we met at an underground an underground club in Seattle when we were teenagers. When we were she was, she was DJing, yeah. and I was trying to keep my friend alive. Um, <laughs> and I was the designated the designated driver. Um, that's, that's so funny. That's literally- 
story. It's fine. But that makes sense as to why we're like, we look, everybody's like, what a weird match. And it's like, no, we're actually, we're actually pretty similar. Um, Cause we started out, our origin stories are so similar, you know? Someone asks, would you let a fan take you out? Dove. <laughs> You're asking me? Oh yeah, I, yeah, I'm your fan, exactly. <laughs> I'll take you out. Hey, listen, I'll sh- I'll show you a good time. I've been in LA a lot longer than you. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, there's different. I mean, that was yeah, the best probably. answer. What? That was the best answer I've ever heard. That's right. I'm your fan. Um, um, yeah. I mean, I've I've done that before. Like, I mean, not like on a date, but like I was in New York and I met up with a couple friends and we like got fries and went and got our nails done that was pretty fun i don't know i mean yeah like if if we're all into the same stuff like we're we probably have a lot in common it would probably be like fun to hang out if you mean on a date uh what are these emojis that keep popping up does anybody else name this um (laughs) i'm not doing that uh if you mean on a date uh i don't know i mean like i'm i've never like dated dated i'm like trying i'm like starting to like mess around with the idea of like what that even means but uh, I don't know. What about you? Um, I mean, <laughs> I think your answer was really good. I think it would have to. <laughs> I know, right? That's it's a... like it would have to be the maybe right circumstance. Maybe I should have thrown that one out there. there. I'm just like reading off some of these questions, and like I just like you know, just like you know, maybe I'll ask this one now. I I ask it, and I'm like you know, maybe I shouldn't have asked that one. But no, uh... no. I mean, I think it depends. I think it depends if you if you guys have a yeah, chemistry. I think... Uh, there's a there's a lot of people that I'm a fan of that like I think yeah. that we would have a great time going out you know like it platonically yeah, or right. otherwise. At the, at the end of the day, it depends on chemistry and compatibility, and it depends on uh, I mean, as long as they're not like putting you on some sort of like pedestal, you know what I mean? Like yeah. as long as there's not some sort of, like dynamic like that sort of dynamic that would make things like rather uncomfortable with like somebody like you know basically like. I don't know. It, it, that di- what the? Did you see those glasses? She was too cool. They said, uh, we agree. <laughs> Wait, are they doing that? I don't know. How do they do that? that? Honestly, whoever did that needs to do that again because those glasses, like, I don't know, something about them. Because that's your whole that brand? Because yeah, you only like to be seen with your glasses? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but never mind. The, oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, oh what? Who's oh. doing that? Now we're talking. Never mind the goggles. I don't need the goggles anymore. I don't need them. She just like, wants that emoji on her face, y'all. I'm it's, evolving. She's evolving. You know? She's evolving. She only actually does shows via TikTok Live now. <laughs> live shows? Who needs them? Oh, wait. Um, okay, wait. Let me ask you a question, kid. Okay, go ahead. Um, go ahead. Let's go see. Ahead. Ooh, what's your favorite lyric from Taste of You? Hmm... Let me think. I know, me too. Also, for anybody who's wondering, that the the um, the cover art is actually an actual picture of um, my lips. It's not an artist rendering. We like went back in. I just noticed because I was doing that that lip shape again, and we I took that picture as a selfie in Georgia while I was shooting Powerpuff, and then we sent it in, and like that's the cover art. Yep, I Which loved I, it. it. I think perfect. it's so funny. That, like, makes me laugh that we were so, like, oh, does this picture work? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> we're, like, make it a cover art. Whatever. Um, that wasn't a question. Uh, okay. Uh, my favorite lyric and my favorite part in general, I think, of the song is after the first drop where you're, like, when you're away from me, I'm cravingly impatient, chained up to the bed inside my head, and I don't care. I'm a bitch if I'm not getting my addiction fed. I was just, like, nice. That's <laughs> fire as hell. I think that's, that's definitely yeah that's that's definitely my favorite lyric I yeah that one's um it just like simply hits you know <laughs> to put it simply uh it fucking hits and <laughs> and we fuck with it nice question um yeah no I I think that's my favorite too my favorite le- yeah yeah and I don't care I'm a bitch I think that's my favorite too also though I do love like um I just think it's accurate, right? Like, we all know that feeling being like, I don't care. I'm a bitch if I'm not getting my addiction. <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> Come over. Like, get over it. Stop being a freak. 
Um, that's, yeah. I also, you know what I love? And I don't know if this was you or Sean who included this, but that, that weird, weird cut of taste of you that like I threw in randomly. Yeah. That, yeah. That was Sean. He does a lot of the vocal stuff. So yeah, he slaps with that shit. Like he's, yeah, he's pro. Like I'm, when I get vocals, like I'm not really like the one that like compresses them or like edits them. Like I always leave like the experts to the vocals. Cause like, I don't want to like mess with like someone's, you know, like I don't want to like mess with someone's voice too much. I leave that to like the pros. Yeah. But um, yeah, either way, like, yeah, I agree. That is super, super awesome. And. Cause there's something like kind of creepy and weird about it. Like I, I, when they, when he included that, I was like, I love that we're all so creepy and weird. Like that's such a good bonding. I was like, Oh great. We're all on the page. I truly could not agree more. <laughs> We're just creepy and weird, and everybody go listen to our song "Days of You." Um, all right, I mean, what what's left? What if, what's what what are you doing next, dude? As a fan, oh my god! Okay, there's like a lot. There's like a lot. I feel like um, so. I got like quite a few show like festivals and sh- I have like a few like headline shows coming up like next month and like uh, some festivals I'm doing over the summer. But then yeah. I am then releasing an album oh! and then going to be going on like e- like easily the biggest tour that I've done, <gasps> which is like horrifying because I am like, <laughs> such a homebody. Yeah. Like I love like just like chilling at home and just like whatever but this will be the most like chaotic sort of consistently you know just a lot of shows in a row and um so yeah I'm gonna do that and it's gonna be like the biggest sort of stage tour production I've ever had so we're kind of putting a lot into it just you know it's I can't say too much about like the theme or anything but the theme is really much is really gonna suit the title of the album and it's all gonna like sort of work together and uh, be just this whole sort of immersive world, I suppose. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And that's pretty much the main thing. Oh, How about God. you? Well, first of all, the next thing that you're actually going to do is when we get off this, you're going to text me and you're going to explain to me everything that you can't say here. Uh, <laughs> isn't that the I'll, best I'll part? definitely do that isn't that the best part of being an artist is when you start working with people that you're a fan of and then, and then you can text them and be like, yo, <laughs> send me the unreleased song. Oh, by the way, that unreleased song you sent me the other day, you sent me that when I was on my way to go do paintball and it got me so fucking hyped. I swear to God, <laughs> I li- listen to it constantly and I'm the worst texter backer ever. Um, but Oh my God. Like what a fucking it's, it's the whole point. I was talking to Phineas about this. The whole point in being an artist is to then get into rooms with people that you are such a freak fan of that like you get to be a part of their their mind and their brain and like that's the whole point like I feel like I'm like every day I'm always like when are people gonna figure out that I'm just a fan and like I can like barely do what I'm doing I'm like yo (laughs) I'm here I'm here to have access to you guys and like and the fact that like anybody believes me when I'm like oh yeah I can I can sing I like music I'm like sick we're just gonna like keep that going for as long as we can because it's like it's my dream that like my favorite artists text me their their plans and like I get to know you know what I mean like I'm a fangirl I'm a secret fangirl not so secret um well yeah I mean I I mean I'm definitely I'm definitely a fangirl as well, especially now since I have seen you in your full kind of character in the at the live shoot. And also like you have an incredible singing voice. And um, yeah, I'm also a fangirl. So we're on the same page. I think you have to be in order to be a, a successful artist. You have to like never lose that thing that makes you like love what you do so much. Um, what is next for me? Uh, well, I have a bunch of new music coming out soon that I also can't talk about. Um, I am hopefully working towards my first body of music, but I also can't talk about that or make any promises or dates or anything, which sucks. Um, but I have, uh, <laughs> but obviously, um, I, I actually, this is funny because we're just talking about music, but I do have my new Apple show that's coming out. I think like next month. Um, and that's going to be really fun because um, it's just filled with like the most unbelievable people. And it's so funny and so crazy and so different than obviously what we're talking about now. But like, 
yeah, I have a whole I have a whole season of a show coming out. Um, Wait, and- an Apple show? What exactly do you mean by that? Like, what what is that like? Is it like a podcast or no? So like on Apple Apple TV, I have a whole new like show. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's created by Lauren Michaels who did SNL. Um, oh, yeah, nice. It's it's very very fun. It's got all my favorite comedians in it, like Fred Armisen and Keegan Michael Key and Jane Krakowski and like all these super sick, talented, funny people. Um, and Alan Cumming, anyway, anyway, <laughs> there's so, I'm such, again, I'm such a fangirl. I'm like, I only ever want to work on something that like I would want to be, that I would want to watch, right? So that's really fun. Everybody should keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, just like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm filming like a bunch of different movies and obviously working on Powerpuff and lots of music coming up and collaborations, which I'm super excited about, but, but yeah. Isn't it so annoying? Oh yeah, happy Pride Month, everybody. Somebody just said uh, that. yes. Happy Pride. Happy Pride, everybody. Yeah, happy Pride. Um, isn't that so annoying when, like, when you can't give, like, specific – like, I feel like you're so good at that. You're so good at just, like, saying what you want and the date and what's coming and everything you're working on. And I feel like I, I've been so, like – because I've always – I come from, like, a background where I'm, like, representing a network. I'm always so, like, yeah. I don't think I can say this. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That. I suppose that is kind of the difference is like the network situation, whereas like I just work closely with like my team. And like if I ever screw up and announce like the worst I get is just like my manager's just like, oh, come on, Isabel. Like you should have said that. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, sorry. Like and it's like not that big of a deal. But um, but anyways, um, I guess like to to close this off, I do want to say like one thing. I just want to say like I admire the hell out of you I think you're like such an exceptionally hard worker I like ever since like we were together I've been like following your stuff and I see how like I feel like you like don't even sleep like I just feel like you're just like constantly I feel like even like your fans will be like did she even sleep like they'll like tweet and like like they'll like like you know what I mean and I see that and I'm just like seriously though like I feel like you're always just working and taking on projects and doing things and it's very like admirable and inspiring and um yeah, I, I think it's really cool. And I think it's like actually really rare that like people are taking on as many projects and like fields of work that you are. And I think you should be like really proud of yourself for that. Oh my God, it is. Thank you so much. I, I mean, I feel the same way about you. I, I, I mean, you know, I feel like I've like, I've like talked your ear off about what a huge fucking fan I am of yours. But like, I just think that you're such an enigma. You're such a talent. And like, it's my most favorite thing to be, it's my dream that I get to work with someone like as talented as you and who is so like, I think that you are so, something so special about you is that you're so like divorced from like influence of other sound. Like when I listen to your stuff, I know that it's you. And like, that's such a rarity for an artist. And I just respect the hell out of you. I think that you're so intelligent, so talented, such a wonderful person. And like, yeah, I like I, I couldn't have more respect for you as like an artist or as a person. So, I mean, what a dream. This has been like the most amazing thing. I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Wow. And when we go on our well, world this tour, is- you know, <laughs> with just taste of you, we'll play. We'll just play like nine times. <laughs> No, seriously, we'll literally just play the song like t- like 12 times in a row. Like I'd be completely happy with that. And I am actually going to play our song probably multiple times on my tour. Like no joke. Like I love it that much. So me too. Yeah. yeah everybody look out for the video on Tuesday and then, you know, everybody go buy tickets to uh to all of Rez's shows. I might I might be at some of them. <laughs> As in, I'm yeah, definitely going to be at most of them. I'm going <laughs> to, I won't sleep. I'm going to go from working to then I'll just like be your roadie. <laughs> That's the dream. Amazing. Well, anyways, have a good rest of your day. And, yeah, you too. And I'm sure we will talk soon. Yeah, I'll text you. I'll text you the second we're off. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Everybody keep an eye out for the music video on Tuesday. It's going to be mental. And thank you so much for streaming the song as much as you have. We're so happy. We love you so much.